from the Captain Slappy. This one's for Pontifex on his well done videos of the 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 kooky Muslim cartoonish thingy, which I've never seen, by the way. You know why I didn't have to see it? Because I already knew what it was. <laughs> Here's the deal. Imagine looking down the road and somebody with a flat tire going to stick you in the kidney, right? He's standing out there. You can see him before they can see you. You see him getting ready for you, right? And then further on down the path, just hey, just in case you make it past that asshole, there's five guys dressed as Muslims that are probably not <laughs> right. <laughs> Going, hey, uh, <clears throat> we got to get ready to burn the embassy down and blame it on the captain, right? <laughs> you know, it's like, whoa, okay. So let me keep it real short and real sweet. Nothing more than excellent media game theory. This is. You got it nailed down, Pony. Why the fuck is that on YouTube? We look around and go, what the fuck? Why would anybody get... A, why would they allow that? And B, what the fuck? Right? Jim, uh, how did that incite violence when half of them don't have an internet connection? <laughs> well, my Apple iPad. <laughs> right? It was airdropped. <laughs> from the military so I hopped on and uh, wouldn't you know uh, magically <laughs> even though my country's banned from Google or whatever the fuck it doesn't matter the point was does nobody see that one okay I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set you back I love this I, can't, I think I told Tenebroust about it I said oh that's the funniest shit I've ever heard I do know I talked to uh, Master Patrick about it master p and you want to talk about hilarious the funniest fucking thing is the libya deal the original libya deal we're gonna overthrow them and you go and you watch it and it's the same dude in the same toyota fucking truck with a 50 caliber in the back <laughs> where the fuck did he get a 50 caliber what kind of army is that Driving up and down the road with with everybody standing out. You know, just standing out. He's shooting out in the middle of the desert at nothing. Wow, it's a full-blown battle. <laughs> Fighting them ghosts in that coconut is what the fuck <laughs> you're doing. But anyway, so there they are. With <laughs> anti-aircraft shit in the back of a fucking pickup truck. Didn't say it wouldn't work. I mean, the Germans put fucking Panzerfaust on donkeys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'm looking at this going, are you shitting me, right? This is the Libya deal. And you're going, are you shitting me? Really? There's five guys that constitute the entire fucking rebel <laughs> force. They're always the same five fucking guys. They're always in the middle of nowhere. They're always shooting at something that don't exist. A 50 caliber only go about a mile or so, right? It ain't going to reach the next town over and whack out, you know, without you seeing, just magically whack out the opposing force. And all these fucking idiot journalists are standing right there, right? Like when they caught Gaddafi? Yeah, just magically, right? Everything was just set just perfectly. What the fuck? Working that crowd, they are. Working the marks. The smarks, the smart marks, that's evidently a new term that on another deal. Breaking the fourth, getting you in there, getting you in the door. Anyway, so it's fascinating to see that shit replayed over and over. And they say, oh, there was a huge riot. And you go and, you know, you're watching TV and they show fucking 10,000 people that you assume are real. And B, you assume they're not recycling footage from the soccer game uh, match that they won. <laughs> right. Can you read Muslim? <laughs> no. So you need to be careful of that shit. I mean, that's what I love about it. Let's see how good Abby Martin does it. Kokesh was all right. Yeah, he's small fry. He tried. He did all right. But anyway, he's going to be doing better. But the point is, uh, let's see how good Abby Martin does it. Actually, she's doing uh, better if you ask me. They ain't slacking on that fucking show. I'm surprised. Usually this like Anyway, moving along, pun effects. <laughs> the beauty of it was, you know, they took out some rusty RPGs and blew up a tanker truck. And, oh, my God, it overthrew a fucking government. 
<laughs> it did. It did. It did. Toucan Sam on the cereal box told you if you just look inside for the prize, motherfucker, it's the overthrow of the government. <laughs> That's what this is. <laughs> oh. Anyway, anyway, the point is, it's ingenious shit, and it generally always works. The deal is, when you look at the, what is it, the innocence of Muslims or whatever the fuck it is, go look, integral math and them are actually fighting over this shit as if it's real. They really are. That's the hilarious part about it. They're getting worked. God damn, they're getting worked like a field full of taters, of spuds, just laying around in the sun. They're just getting worked over, man. <laughs> they don't fucking get it. It's irrelevant. That's the point. They're trying to draw you in. Draw you, come come to the argument, man. Come to what argument, motherfucker? It's a fake fucking cartoon, and it's a fucking operation that was set up to look real. At an embassy with no protection. Yes, the, everybody's that fucking stupid to do mutually self-supporting fortresses such as embassies with no protection in countries that hate you. <laughs> seems legit to me but i didn't say it wasn't well done i don't got to watch the cartoon but all i got to do i don't have to do that all i have to do is look out here and see you all squitty pretty wow it's a false flag it's this it's that and five carney barkers got together and work in the crowd what are you bitching about just point the finger and go huh that was could have been better that was pretty sloppy now, if you ever think that a fucking cartoon actually did that shit, you're fucking out of your mind. Come on, Obama. Come on, Obama. Come on, baby. You know better than that shit. Come on, baby. You know that. You know that didn't happen like that. Come on, man. You know that's not how it works. So anyway, the point is, the only thing it was meant to do was keep the people that are already in the game in the game. It's called justification. It's also called, yeah, well, excuses, but it's justification for moving this and that and this as they move other operations in it. And, of course, you know, somebody will say to me, well, you can't talk about that, or just, you got to be careful of this. Not that anybody would. What I'm saying is it's right in front of your face. Right? It wasn't designed for you. It was designed for the idiots that run around saying false flag and shit. And it was designed for the marks that are already in the tent. That's it. Not designed for you. So you got to look at it and go, well, I would have done that differently because what, what exactly did you lose here? Were you mad? Did it make you angry, baby? Did your boo-boo hurt? Well, if it made you mad, you're a fucking idiot. And that's the whole point. Got you in that fucking door. Now, I'm not saying Pontifex was mad or nothing like that. Pontifex said, eh, it's all bullshit. I can't believe anybody would fall for that shit. There's no emotional investment. Do you live there? No. Is it right? Didn't say that. Was it real? Ha ha. Let's go ask Ed if it was real. <laughs> yeah, let's go talk to Ed. Yeah. One of these days, Ed's will, Ed will run through that footage and he'll show you shit that the others of us caught long time back about them recycling old shit, updated shit, you know. Recycling old shit, updating it, recycling it again, you know, and stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with it. It's the way the world works. The world works like that. You don't have to use force of arms against another empire that can see you coming, do you? Because nobody really wants to do that because that comes down to the street level shit. Oh, shit. I've got a, a million guys, man. That's all I got. Fuck. That's if they'll fight and they won't desert. <laughs> you know, that's the U.S. for you, right? Well, fuck. I can't get nobody else in the door. Shit's not working like it used to. So what What other tools I got in the toolbox? My mind and your mind. My mind can make your mind do whatever the fuck it wants. That's right. So I can climb up in your your noodle and drive around that pasture oh, while you're sitting there screaming, it's devil government. I can drive around there on a little moped or an electric bicycle, whatever you want. It's all about efficiency. <laughs> and get you to do whatever the fuck I want. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. Right? 
There's no emotional attachment to this shit for you. If there is, you got a fucking problem. Hello, Mark. Hello, John. Hello, Fish. Hello, Rube. In the Rube Goldberg machine. So, what do you do about it? I was actually going to do a video of it. You nullify it. Through yourself first. Should you nullify everything else out there? Be careful. Be careful. I tried to explain to the idiots like Molly Knox and the other atheists, you know, Kokesh and them. And, and I'm not saying I don't like True Puka or I don't enjoy his work or uh, uh, Integral Math. Who the fuck are you to replace it with another bag of bullshit? What, Bill Nye, the science guy? Yeah, I don't think so. Go believe in evolution. Tell me when you get around to making me a fish with fucking four-foot legs, right? Really prove it out, son. Until that time, it's just the mummified mermaid you're wanting me to go look at for a nickel. All right? So hit the fucking bricks. So, And I wanted to throw in on Bill Nye again about the all, all Bill Nye said in that little section of Abby Martin's video was, by the way, teach your kids the standard social reconstruction and behavior modification because we need more employees. Isn't that what you said, Bill Nye? Because that's exactly what you said. Well, don't put words in my mind. I ain't the one that was dumb enough to fucking say it without any knowledge of social cohesion or any game theory. Well, isn't that interesting, Bill Nye, the fucking science guy? You kind of skipped that part. <laughs> you kind of jumped right past the old social sciences, right? Because they climbed up in your head and they're driving around on their fucking little mopeds. Bill Nye's going, nur, nur, does not compute, nur, nur, evolution only. <laughs> so anyway, it was all fun. I enjoyed Pontifex's video. This video is too long just for me to be a dickhead about it or whatever. But uh, that's it, Pontifex. You got it in one. You got it in one. That's how easy this is.